Alright, welcome back everyone. It is your favorite mustache man, diabetes guy, Wilford Brim. Today, we have a lot to do. So first thing on our to-do list is the west side waterfall. Right over there. That's going to be a big undertaking considering the amount of land that I'm going to have to clear. It's just it's going to be insane. Next thing, something kind of big, we're going to do a nether ring. We're going to actually go to the nether and conquer the fortress. Hopefully get some blaze rods and by the end of the episode I would like to have an ender chest. Um, the next thing is we need to get some more lanterns. Very simple one, we just have to go to the village or we can make them ourselves I believe. So we, we just need to uh, get some more lanterns. Next thing is we need to make an animal farm. Um, which is going to go in that wall right over there on the west side. Next thing is cats and horses. We need to get some cats so that way we can keep the creepers awake because they're getting kind of ridiculous. They've blown up the wall six or seven times now. Um, and then horses just for transportation. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. So let's get right into it. So as you guys can already tell, I haven't yet fixed the microphone issue. I assure you it'll be fixed in the next video. So I have actually removed the filters. Um, but today what I wanted to talk to you guys about was, you know, the future plans of this channel and where I plan to take it. And really my plan right now, I'm going to see what happens with this Minecraft series because I really do enjoy Minecraft and I think there's still a lot of viewers out there that enjoy Minecraft and I try to make it kid friendly so that way, you know, everybody can enjoy it. But I love a good deal of games like Call of Duty Zombies, Modern Warfare, I'm really... I'm really into a lot of different games and it's really enjoyable to play a variety of games. That's why I want your guys' suggestions and like, you know, what I should do and how I should do it. Like, I think it'd be really cool to get some fan feedback about what games you guys want to see. And maybe you want me to get a game because you don't know if you want to buy it yet and that's totally understandable but I guess that's kind of what I'm here for to see if you might enjoy the game that I'm playing basically what I'm asking is for you guys to leave comments and leave likes and stuff like that so that way you know it kind of helps the YouTube algorithm get me more noticed and leave comments just so you know I know what you guys are into I know what you guys wanted me to do and how to do it and that kind of thing like I I'm interested in your guys' feedback. Alright, well that's all I got time for in this time lapse, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, so the excavation is for the most part complete. The only thing that I'm going to have to do is terraform this a little bit, make it look more natural, that kind of thing, and uh, so the tower is going to be right there. We might end up making like a crease here, like a 45 or 90. Have it come down like a staircase would, you were going at an angle perpendicular to each other. Alright, so the next thing we're going to work on is the um, lanterns. So we got to get some more lanterns. So I'm going to see if there's a crafting recipe for it. Because I am not sure if there is or not. Alright, so I found out that there is actually a crafting recipe for it. So I need to a new feature in 1.16 is going to be a soul lantern where you can make a blue torch from nether stuff and you can make a soul lantern that will be blue instead of yellow. Alright, so here we are in the area where we're going to be making animal farms. So obviously we have to clear out this entire area and we're only going to this first cobblestone here. So we need to fill in this little bit here. But other than that, we got to clear out this entire area. Alright, it's the context police back again. So... What you're about to see and what you're watching at the moment are two different things. So what you're watching right now is a time lapse of me mining out the animal farm area. But after the time lapse is over, we go straight into our nether raid. And because I had no transition within the video itself, I have to do this. So thank me, I'm kind of stupid, I apologize. But yeah, that's what's going on. So the animal farm area has been flattened, and we're going into a nether raid. Alright, now that that's explained, we can carry on with the video. Ready to go. Alright, let's do this. Nether raid. Trigger what the hell? There's a creeper. Run, 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 run. Run, get out of there. It's alright. 
I thought of this. Why was it there? It probably ran through our portal at some point. Alright, I think I have the path over here. I can't remember exactly. Oh, yeah, it was right here. Yep. So, we gotta get across this chasm here. You know what? We can dig down here. I'll, I'll follow you closely behind. There's a gas that has clear eyes on us. Oh, I shot it back. Here, go ahead and shoot at him. I'll try and defend us. We need to get out of this right now. Here, back up. Back up. This really works, but I'm just gonna put torches all over it. Just go this way. Oh, here's another spawner. Well, let's farm you know this what? one. I like this one better. I think we should just kill the other one. Broken part of it. I got it. We got it. What's in there? Oh, yes, Golden a saddle. horse armor and a saddle. Yes. You can get horses now. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. Straight it is. Skeleton. Another saddle. Some nice. gold ingots. Another wart. Ooh, there's another chest over here. I actually, take it. Oh, there's another chest right here. Some obsidian, horse armor, iron and gold. Nice. That was an alright one. Here's oh, there's all another the rest one of down it. here. There's diamonds. Two diamonds. There's another one! Oh. Alright, here we go again. So, after we cut out in the nether, we decided to head back and start getting back to our base. And shortly after we got back and got our stuff together, Luke ended up leaving the game. So, what I decided to do was finish the waterfall and make the moat, fill it in and that sort of thing. Get all that flushed up and taken care of and that's what you're watching right now and the time lapse after you we get out of the nether now the nether run was very successful we got quite a bit of stuff we got a lot of saddles lots of horse armor we got lots of diamonds in respect to what we had and we got some iron some gold miscellaneous things it was a very successful run 
We got plenty of blaze rods to do what we need to. And we have enough to get an ender chest now, and that, that was part of the goals today. What you're watching now is me completing the waterfall, and this was kind of a long process, and it took a little bit, even though it wasn't a whole lot to do. It took a hot second, and what you're going to see here at the tail end is a freeze frame of the finished product and what it all turned out to look like on the front of the base. And I personally think it looks pretty cool. If you guys have an opinion on, you know, what we should do to make our base look better, go ahead and throw that down in the comments section. And we'll take your opinions and see what we can do to make our base look better. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so now that we're in here, we can figure out how we're going to divide it. So I think I'm just going to make four chambers, like, in line with these. Getting the mob in. So yeah, I think that's gonna work out just fine actually. Perfect. Uh, perfect amount. Have to make some more fence gates though. Alright, so we have this all the pens done. So we're gonna go actually find some animals now. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this door. Alright, so a quick trip to our local village yielded us two cows. <laughs> Come to your complete isolation containment, where we may or may not slaughter you. Hmm. Let's go with this one. Alright, we got ourselves a pig right outside the base, so we're gonna just yoink him in here. Actually, you know what? Let's grab this guy first. Alright, now we need to go find some sheep. I want a horse. One of the goals is getting a horse anyway. So I'm gonna get one of these and this will make it infinitely easier to try to find the because they're gone. I have located a couple of sheep. There's one of the two that I found. Alright, so I've located the sheep. Alright, we've gotten one sheep. Alright, we've gotten the second sheep. Alright, so we've arrived at the Spruce Village. I already see a cat over there. See two. Perfect. So I had three cats, but one of them fell off the face of the earth or something. I think that's all I got time for. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy. As usual. And let me do a nice little face towards the work we made today. Made quite a bit of progress, honestly. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, tomorrow I'll probably work on banners and stuff like that. And it'll be a grand old time. So I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be